Although Tom Cruise has been the face of the Mission Impossible movie series since the very beginning, there has been some speculation as to whether he will be replaced, allowing another star to lead the franchise into the future. However, this seems unlikely after the failure of Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning Part 1, with it being near impossible to pull off this trick in the face of the box office returns. This last installment of the Mission Impossible franchise was meant to be the most ambitious, with it making the bold move to market itself as the first half of a two-part saga. However, making just north of $500 million left a lot to be desired, causing the studio to scramble to attempt to recoup the losses. While the seventh film was critically acclaimed, it had a lot of competition in the form of Barbenheimer. While there has been a lot of speculation as to who will replace Tom Cruise, it still isn't known if he will actually leave Mission Impossible behind. Much of Cruise's recent work has been on the franchise, with his dedication to it exceeding that of any other series he has been involved with. Tom Cruise's entire persona as an action star who does his own stunts come from his star turn as the redoubtable Ethan Hunt, but he's gonna have to bow out at some point. And then what? The studio will have to replace Tom Cruise if they want the Super Spy franchise to continue on, something that will be immensely hard to do. A pre-existing Mission Impossible actor like, um, say, Jeremy Renner or Hayley Atwell could become the franchise's main character, but they simply aren't grand enough to fill Tom Cruise's running shoes. The other option, of course, would be to bring in a new actor, but the question becomes, who in Hollywood could replace the last remaining movie star? What do you expect me to do? Of course, the studio could take the obvious route and retire the franchise after Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning Part 2. I guess we'll just have to wait and see what happens.